See, this will make you look tired. Mm-hmm. This will make you look very tired. Mm-hmm. Number one, can we just be honest with you? No shade. You <laughs> you go after love every season of love and hip hop and drag them to pieces. You talk about any other little thing that has to do with a love and hip hop cast member. You involve yourself in so much stuff to stay relevant on people's timelines that it's come to a point where it's like, Ooh, who are you? Let's just, because this is, and now it's like. <laughs> What the fuck is good? What the fuck is going down? It's Barry Guap, and I am back with another video, bitches. <laughs> well, all that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, girl. <laughs> What's going down with the girls? So, if you're here, thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, bitches. We're about to just jump right into this because I haven't did like a video on this yet. Um, I haven't talked about it yet, so we're just gonna jump into it. If you like videos like this, then you guys want me to do videos on on celebrity gossip, you know, talk topics like that. And you know, YouTuber T, you know, just let me know. Um, I have March Madness coming. Yeah, well, it's going to be 21 videos um, in March. It's going to have all these different videos of me Monday through Friday. And I'll be doing story times, get ready with me, vlogs, chit chats, um, you know, make up stories, all that. So just get ready for that in March. And I have story times coming. Get ready for that. And I have prank calls coming for YouTubers and celebrities, so get ready for that too. But um, back to what I was saying. Basically, this is going to be about Jesse Smollett and... Um, his little case. So, basically, I know if you... I'm not going to talk too much about that. It's basically about Christopher Milan and Heath Wallace and um, Zachary Campbell. So, basically, if you do know or you don't know. Basically, okay, so let me just get into the gig. Let me get into what, what happened with what she's serving, what she's serving. So, basically... Let me get my receipts, girl. Make sure everything's copacetic. Okay, yeah. So, basically... This is what happened. I'm living my best life. I'm just, you know, living my best life. And I have seen that, uh, let me just give you a little background on what happened. So, Jesse Smollett, J Juicy Jesse, I don't know what the fuck the man's name is. He claimed that he had got, um, attacked. And I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I knew that it was fake from the beginning. Like, I just can tell fake, fake shit. Like, I just, I just peep it. I peep fake shit. So, when it, when he first came out saying that he had got attacked, my mom was telling me about it. Like, I mean, I'm like, I just didn't have, like, the feeling. You know, like, I feel when something's genuine. I mean, I'm not saying that it wasn't genuine from the jump. Like, I, I, just, I just felt that it wasn't. So, I didn't need, have to feel no need to speak on it or say anything about it. But that was not my place for my platform to speak on it or anything like that. But as far as him doing that and him lying about it, basically, he lied. He got prosecuted. He's in the police custody right now. And things like that, of that nature. And basically, like, he just got basically, like, accused of lying. And he was said that he paid, the, he paid some actors to jump him. And this man was supposed to be came in with a full body cast. It was just too much for the girls. Like, <laughs> I just don't know. I just know it was too much for the girls, and I cannot hang. But um, if you're made it to this far in the video, thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Comment below on how you feel about this topic and how you think that this should have went, or if you thought it was, you knew it was fake from the jump. Like, let me know how you feel about that. But basically, so I know that Zachary and I know that he flawless Kenneth made a video, and they were talking about how they felt as if. Because Christopher Milan jumped on case really fast. Like, he was being so extra. Like, he was like, I bet it's because he got, um, I bet it's because his jack make didn't go right. And which that was very ignorant because, you know, we are known to be promiscuous human, who, we are known to be promiscuous human beings. And, like, that's all that we're known for. So, for a big influential person to say something like that, of course, everybody's going to flock towards that. And then Cardi B start lashing out. And Jesse Smollett, whatever the fuck his name is. I'm really disappointed in him. I feel like he fucked up Black History Month, bro. Like, damn. I'm not gonna say. It was just like, if Milan wouldn't have said that, of course we would have had ignorant people talking about it and still having their opinions and they would have been entitled to their opinions like everyone is. But there's certain things that you don't say when you know that you have a big following and you know that people are watching you. Like he said, he said he has 600,000 on Instagram and 400,000 on Twitter. A combined of a hundred thousand or a million follow a million followers so what you say holds weight basically so that's what i'm trying to get across that's, what I, that's the point i'm trying to get across with that being said he made a post and this, let me read you word for word 
what he said, girl. This is what he said. He made a post. This is Christopher Malone. I'll, pop, I'll shit pop up like a piece of it on the screen right here. He made a post. He said, Hi, I am Christopher. I'm Milan Christopher, actor, model, CEO. Some of you may wonder who I am or why I am relevant. Well, I was the first openly gay black male to have his relationship played out in reality TV history, which is on Love and Hip Hop. So be humble. I'm, okay, we're, we're, I'm not, this video is not to bash Christopher Milan. Because I be commenting on his pictures just to get recognized, but um, it's like not 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 recognized by him, but like recognized by like other people. Because I know people follow him, and you just gotta do what you gotta do sometimes to get noticed. I'm not worried about Christopher Milan. He just needs to be humble. But and that's just we're just jumping into the first thing that he said. So did he said after that he said, "Well, I was the first. He said, well, I was the first openly gay black male to have his relationship played out in reality TV history. I am the first openly gay black man." to break the internet with new photos for a paper magazine. I am the first gay black celeb spokesperson for PrEP. I am the first gay black celeb male to have his own adult toy line with Flef Jack. My name al alone has trended globally on several different occasions. I have over 600K followers on Instagram and over 400K on Twitter, which means I have over a million fans worldwide just on my social media. My last album was over 10 million certified streams i have worked with some of the greatest of all time i.e beyonce kanye west lil wayne neo and Nicki minaj i'm the first gay black american man to lead star in a 14 part south african tv show i own several lucrative businesses and now own and now am the ceo of my own tv network i'm an award-winning artist and businessman despite the fact that i have been featured on cover on several critical blogs and newspapers or magazines in the US. Let's get to the basics. I am fine as fuck. I have a beautiful smile, banging body, fat that and I'm rich bitch. So that's what he said. That was his take on it. Okay, so since you heard all of that, um he came off as very cocky and I mean you can be entitled you're entitled to feel how you feel. You're entitled to be like I'm first, I'm first, I'm first. But let's be honest. You're first to be a rapper. Um Milan, I've never heard any of your music. <laughs> Girl. So like Kenny said, you're tired. And the only reason why you're known is because of your dick print photos. I didn't even, let's, okay, let me give y'all some real tea. I never knew who Christopher Milan was until I was sitting down with one of my old good, good Judy's. And we were talking, and this boy that is from my city, he was having intercourse with Christopher Milan for money. Like, because Milan was flying him out and paying him. So with that being said, I'm like, hmm. Okay. Let me go follow him because I, I need some money. Because I was just gonna get the money and dip on him. I wasn't gonna, you know, pop this little bussy or put nothing inside of him because you know, I don't know what he want. I don't know what he want. But yeah. So basically, he threw all of that shade and I commented right. And I have my comment. I commented like, we get it. I understand the energy, but stay humble and remember, there's always room for all of us. And then I commented, are you throwing shade? Are you throwing shade that he follows in Zach Campbell? And he deleted my comments. So, first of all, for you to delete the comment, are you, uh, there's room for all of us. That shows that you don't want everybody to win and you're not happy with everybody being gay and being in the spotlight. That just shows who you are and how you move. Um, I don't know how to react to this. Uh, I just feel like you, it's certain things that you say and certain things you don't say. You don't come off as cocky. Like, you don't say, I'm the first, I'm the first, I'm the first. Because it's like, okay, you could have been the first, but there's like, there were people before you. And I understand that you were the first person on social media, but at the end of the day, it's the one who really makes it and we really don't know who you are like you're tired Milan like you don't you don't really ring no bells but back to this Jesse situation and like he follows and and Zachary so basically Zachary and he follows made a video saying like how like they were they weren't bashing Christopher or anything they were just talking about how they feel like they saying like he's tired like how are you going to speak on something like this and like we're all gay like we're all we're all out here and it's like we all trying to make it you feel what i'm saying like you don't speak if you feel that way you don't speak that on social media because then that can end up in turn hurting all of us so he felt some type of way and then he made that post saying everything that I just stated and i'm just like what was all that for like if anything you could have went to them and let them know like this this that this that this that third but it's too much for the girls. The girls can't. I cannot. And then, so I text Kenny, and I'm like, girl, did you see that? 
And, I mean, he ain't got back to me yet. But, like, I text Kenny, like, girl, do you see this mess, girl? Do you see this mess? I'm like, I know the fuck you like, girl. And then I had to text, uh, had to text, uh, girl, girl, I had to text him, too. I had to text, uh, I had to text, uh, what's his name? Zachary. I keep forgetting the name, and I love Zachary. So, don't think I'm being shady, because, Zachary, you're iconic. But, basically, it was just, it was just too much for the girls. And, um, yeah, that happened. But um, if you like videos like this, thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to see more, like, videos, comment below what kind of videos you want to see. I also have a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. And the way to be entered into the giveaway is to follow me on social media. At Byreguwap, B-H-Y-R-E-E-G-U-W-A-P. That's my main Instagram. And then follow my business page. And you comment on one of the posts or one of, you comment on my story. And you let me know which item you want. And I will be having... Um, the selection on March 1st, so by March 1st, if I hit 2,000, then, or whenever I hit 2,000 subscribers, then that's when the giveaway will happen, but hopefully it's by March 1st. But if you guys like the videos like this, um, thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one, bitches. I love you guys, and stay positive, bitches. <laughs> wow.